Hey everybody, welcome to uh, another episode of It's Okay to Fail. Uh, technically, probably the uh, second to last episode, uh, at least for playing uh, Monster Hunter World. Uh, I wanted to do this um, just as a quick mini-series to handle the uh, tempered versions of the Elder Dragons. And I'm thinking with this episode being uh, Kushala Daora and probably the last episode um, will be the uh, the latest elder dragon they added which was uh lunastra um probably take a quick break maybe play a different game but i still really love monster hunter world <laughs> and unless capcom uh, adds another new elder dragon i'll probably uh, pop up another episode but all in all yeah just kind of wanted to do a quick well technically if you can see the runtime for this video uh not really a uh, <laughs> a quick hunt of a tempered kushala daora and um, this time I'm going to use a light bow gun. And definitely the truth is I am terrible with uh, with uh, light bow guns, heavy bow guns. And I did gear towards the uh, the bow for a decent amount of time, but never really give a chance to the uh, to the bow guns. I was always terrible when it came to the uh, uh, 3DS, uh, PSP, even the Wii U version. But uh. I'm still terrible with it now, <laughs> as you'll probably see by watching this video. Um, the biggest thing you can notice is uh, my voice isn't really matching what's going on in the camera. I kind of wanted to play with a uh, different camera, not a good camera, mind you. It's a, a kind of a phony GoPro camera that my wife picked up. And uh, it's actually pretty good, you know, I use it for fun, especially for doing other kinds of uh, videos. And I thought I would just kind of prop this on top of the TV. And um, just kind of film me hunting this monster. And so since I didn't really have the uh, mic correctly set up, um, I'm just kind of uh, doing a little bit of commentary uh, over <laughs> the video that's playing. Rather than me um, having awkward silences while I'm actually hunting the monster in real time. Um, we'll see if this works out better, but I don't know, I'll probably jump a little back and forth of me talking while playing or uh, talking after playing. But um, okay, that's pretty much the uh, the longest intro that I wanted to do for for this particular episode. So in this uh, episode of It's Okay to Fail, I'm hunting the kind of cool-looking metallic dragon, and um, I was terrible fighting this one and all the other versions of the game. Generally terrible <laughs> playing the game, but um. It wasn't until I started playing that Monster Hunter World where I started to get a good feel of hunting this monster. I, the, probably the added mobility, um, the newer attacks they added, um, in my case with the, uh, the Greatsword, which is my favorite. And so I started to get a better um, hang of hunting this particular monster. And so um, probably the more difficult parts fighting this monster is just the, uh, it has a special attack that deals with wind pressure. And so sometimes it'll blast a tornado right in front of you and around you and everywhere. And so if without the right skills or gems or decorations to use, you'll probably just be, um, I don't know, buffeted <laughs> by the wind all the time. And so all the while you're getting pushed around by the wind, um, this guy here will just charge you, whip, uh, whip his tail, hit you. And I was terrible trying to fight this thing, you know? I could never just properly telegraph its attacks, you know? <laughs> also, oh, there's one of those uh, tornadoes. And when you get really riled up, he'll throw multiple tornadoes and these little air gust blasts. And here I am, totally cheating, using the uh, temporal mantle, which gives you kind of an auto evade uh, for as long as it lasts. And for these kind of monsters, you know, tempered. Elder Dragons, even the uh, the newer Arc Tempered Elder Dragons, uh, it's definitely a godsend to use these things. And so uh, I did just the most minimal kind of a uh, research <laughs> on using the light bow guns. Watched a couple of videos from uh, Arix and Gaijin Hunter, you know, definitely my favorites, and just kind of learned. Okay, this is something they've added. Uh, this is a decent weapon to mess around with. And since I'm not really good with mm, kind of preparing with the right ammo, uh, setting up the right gun to use that ammo, 
going for all the perfect crit hits, so I'm not wasting the ammo. I went with this gun, it's from, um, I already forgot, the, uh, the little fleshy dog. <laughs> Gosh, it's gonna kill me remembering that name. I'll probably uh, subtitle it in later. But, uh, it's more of a cool little blunderbuss shotgun looking thing. And it's, uh, the biggest thing is, yeah, you get up and up right and close, right up and close, and it has these uh, triple shot kind of uh, spread bullets. So it's all just shotgun blasts to the face. And um, so even though it consumes one ammo, it actually shoots three rapid fire shots. So that's totally a, a good way of lazy, lazily using this weapon while not having to worry about uh, ammo management and resource management. <laughs> And uh, normally you would fight the uh, Kushala at a different map where it's a little bit more open. And I picked this one. It's it's not too bad. It's a uh, it's more heavily wooded, a little bit more travel, and uh, it does make it sometimes more difficult to see the tornadoes when he gets all excited and spits tornadoes everywhere, and creates tornadoes everywhere. But um, here I am, just kind of chasing him down, um, trying the best way to use the aiming. And since you should use the shotgun. Kind of weapon when you're that close i'm using it very far away to the most ineffective <laughs> methods <clears throat> but to be honest playing um and hunting them in monster hunter world there's a whole lot of fun yeah. um since there's uh, a lot more mobility running and jumping and all sorts of ways of like, navigating around the map and since using the items um you can actually use them while you're moving around rather than previous versions of Monster Hunter where you were just stuck in place trying to drink a potion or sharpening your weapon. Um, you can definitely stay mobile while avoiding death as, as, as much as possible. And um, like I said, I didn't really do that too much research, especially for uh, what part of Kushala that you have to hit to get the most damage when it comes to the, uh, the ranged weapons. And so the uh, blade hunter that I am, uh, I was just going straight for the head. And I don't know, it wasn't looking like I was doing that much damage. You see a bunch of low number ones, threes, and twos. And so uh, in this particular hunt, I didn't really uh, switch up my strategy since I was partly trying to survive and partly just trying to go for the headshots to knock them out. Or at least to stun them. Like that one. <clears throat> And of course, his head was clipped into the uh, <laughs> into the floor, so I wasn't even I was hitting the ground more than I was hitting his head in this in this particular time. But all in all, I mean, the, using the light bow guns is really cool here, since uh, using the L2 button um, allowed me to kind of go into that aiming mode, which didn't really, or at least easily exist. Um, really didn't easily exist in the, uh, the handheld versions. You always had to kind of gauge it and shoot based on your, you know, where you're actually facing, rather than you can just hold down a vertical button and shoot from there. So I kind of hope they add or keep this <laughs> for uh, future installments of the game. Oh yeah, here's one of his tornadoes. So he's definitely all riled up. And oh, not that much riled up. So they just wanted to get the heck out of there and go on to his next area but to be honest you know I really like this game it's it stuck with me what when did it come out in January and I'm still kind of playing it regularly you know you know I've read the news um, it, the audience has definitely tapered off um, Capcom stock <laughs> has definitely dropped but pff, I wouldn't put too much faith in those you know you always have the, uh, the monster hunter you know faithful and um, sometimes I'd visit the Reddit and kind of read how people thought this one's too easy. Um, they're kind of bored with the game. But hey, man, if you're dropping, you know, upwards to two, three, four hundred hours of this game, you put some good time. You know, sometimes people put thousands of hours. But um, for this particular game, that was really catered to a, a more mass appeal, which I absolutely enjoyed. And um, and since there's no particular G rank or very punishing style of hunts, um, not yet at least. Uh, I still think that it has really good value and for those that put in those, you know, definite hundreds of hours, I think they got some some good hunts and good some good experiences out of it. And uh, 
see me in particular I'm not too keen on like doing so much um, kind of multiplayer and since uh, you know back then on the 3DS I wasn't too you know having that much fun um, swapping friend codes finding the right group or even try I've spent most of my time uh, my time trying to get my friends <laughs> to, to play this game rather than trying to find like-minded um, hunters I was trying so hard to get my friends family just like hey just try give it a shot and so they would, uh, you know, download the demo um, for the 3DS. They thought, nah, I tried. It's not for me. You know, the animations are too clunky. There's a lot of um, downtime after, you know, a big sword swing, or simply because it was just on a handheld. That uh, it was just less appealing than playing it on a uh, major console. And so, even so, when I was trying to get my friends to play it um, on here. Uh, they really didn't like the uh, the beta, the testing, and things like that. Um, but it just never stuck. You know, there's different games. There's a lot of games now. Uh, and since it's on a major console, um, you know, this one's definitely competing with the likes of uh, um, well now Fortnite, um, PUBG, your regular uh, first person shooters, Division, maybe Destiny. <laughs> um, but um, I really didn't like the uh, the spot that Monster Hunter World got <laughs> for its time, and it definitely made me a uh, you know proud to be a cool a uh, huge fan of this series. You know? So here I am, desperately just trying to get a decent shot, sometimes staying alive, and um, without a doubt, you're not seeing any sort of a professionalism here. I'm like, all right. Did I forget to reload? I forgot to reload. Am I using the uh, spread shot when he's way in the air doing no damage? Yep, definitely. <laughs> so all the things um, as a decent <laughs> bowgun user is supposed to do, um, or at least not supposed to do, I'm doing it here. <laughs> and this particular mantle I'm using, I'm trying to remember how or why. Maybe it was just on the other uh, loadout that I had, but I think this one was meant to increase the chances of knocking them out especially if he had um weapons that would knock him out but since i was just using the bogan and hopefully a shotgun blasts to the face um would give me a better chance of knocking out you know have some stars circling in your head and so here i'm scrambling to to drink some potions one more just for good measure <laughs> a uh, panic dodge and so uh, I really did like using this gun, you know, since it's a very low um, ammo maintenance and commitment. You have your normal shots, your spread shots, and that's pretty much what I stuck with for most of the time. And um, it's just that satisfying feeling where, you know, you can actually um, knock him off the air or if he's um, dizzied on the ground, you just run right up to him. Oh, there you go. And there's, and there's me being a little bit too anxious and uh, I'm just stomp me right on his way <laughs> uh well it wouldn't be a yeah it's okay to fail without me definitely a fainting at least once carting once twice and eh, we'll see <laughs> oh and also a cool little uh, quality of life uh change here that you can still um refill all of your items during a hunt on older games you definitely did not have that option and what you brought with you is what you had unless you kind of um farmed it while you're actually out in the open or you know during the hunt but being able to you know top off all of your ammo your items um whenever you need to such a cool feature definitely a mass audience appeal ah <laughs> uh telegraph that horribly the guy shot from so far away I'm like mm, should I hop that cliff now just turn the other way oh too late okay <laughs> I was trying to remember when he uh went crazy with the tornadoes but um oh here I am still trying to uh, blind him and even though I did remember that, they patched it in where if it's a uh, Elder Dragon, and even more so with uh, Tempered Elder Dragons, you don't really get that much chance to blind them as you used to when you use those flash pots. Um, still wanted to give a shot. Force of habit, I guess. Muscle memory. <laughs> I 
and um, thankfully, yeah, he hasn't gone to his kind of enraged mode where he's just um, whipping up tornadoes and windstorms everywhere. But um, all in all, I like the uh, I like the light bow gun. It was pretty cool to use. Um, probably won't, it will not be my main weapon anytime soon. Um, I'm just not that good with it. And plus, I like to you know be up close and personal. And now with the temporal mantle, having all the different uh, blade weapons definitely gives me a <laughs> a little bit of boost of confidence to to run in and whack away at their heads as much as I can. But um, let's see, as the uh, recording goes, the summer festival is actually going on right now within the game. I haven't done anything yet. I kind of want to do a little bit of reading and seeing what's been um available, what's there for unlocking, and if there's anything new. Because I know they bring back all the event quests, or at least the vast majority of the event quests that are usually in rotation. But when it's the uh, festival, similar to the the spring festival that they had a few months ago they bring back all the uh oh they bring back the event quests so if there's certain things like you're trying to hunt or certain gold crowns or uh, trophies or achievements that you're trying to get um these are definitely the perfect time to do it oh and if i didn't mention it already i was able to get the uh the gold crowns needed for the platinum trophy for this game Super happy that I actually uh, <laughs> I was able to get the, uh, the the hunts that I needed or the size of the hunts that I needed to get that gold crown. Whew, I felt good. And right when I got that trophy, I uh, saved the game, closed it, and took a short break. <laughs> a couple weeks. Um, I was hunting that cure and that unicorn so many times that I just needed needed him. And no matter how many times I tried the uh, gold crown large version of him just didn't want to show up <laughs> until I did and I was very happy and at that point I took a break from the game um, as far as solo hunting and multiplayer hunting I really love that they added the SOS feature and like I mentioned earlier I'm not so big on multiplayer hunting um, I did play it a lot uh, hunt, uh, multiplayer hunts when I was on the 3DS but I was just you know jumping into pickup groups and just trying to just do a general search but uh with the sos feature because i could start on a hunt and you know just for fun i'll just fire off an sos and get some well-needed help and the great part about the monster hunter community is people that you know jump in and, and help you hunt um there are a lot of good good hunters out there you know and i never had the uh the i never took the time to you know get myself into the community and, and befriend them and hunt with them but with the SOS feature you know you run into some really good hunters you know, from all around the world and it was fun just seeing uh, hundreds of different weapons of different styles and you see different armor sets and, like, ooh, and you kind of get a uh, kind of get um, intrigued now it looks like he's definitely in raves here and with the balls of the sandstorms I'm doing my best to try and avoid those uh, those windstorms not sandstorms but the windstorms because once you get caught in it, um, your character is just constantly uh, um, just kind of moving around, unable to move, so it's in this animation. And um, there I am, knocking him over again, taking as many headshots, not as much damage as this. I'm trying to remember, maybe for ranged weapons, you better shoot the tail or shoot the body. But like I said, force habit, I'll just go in for headshots as much as I can. <laughs> And you know, the more I fought this monster in Monster Hunter World, the more I really enjoyed, you know, uh, its style. You know, it's, um, before they uh, patched it, this guy would always take to the skies, and you could just flash pot it over and over and over again. It became almost comedic, similar to uh, something you can do with the Teostra, um, Elder Dragon. And before it was patched, you know, we would just kind of flash pot it over and over and over again and get get a few hits in and then became a lot more fun <laughs> but since they patched it eh, they added the challenge back to to this hunt but uh playing it uh hunting him here you know i got used to his attacks be able to better telegraph it and since i had um you know more experience hunting once i started playing this game then i really started to enjoy just the uh, just the 
you know, the way everything looks, plays out. And here's me getting stuck in a wind storm. Oh, there's the animation. So when you get stuck in them, you're just kind of being buffeted back and forth, and he'll just kind of run into you when he can. And so back then, when you can just do a flash pot and just bring him back to the ground, at least you can get some few hits without him flying all over the place trying to take you out. And so, just hear me trying to navigate out of the out of the wind. And of course, he he goes, "All right, I'm the, I'm out. I'm getting out of here." <laughs> And to be honest, even though I don't play as much as I used to, it's always on my mind. I always think about different things I want to try out, different weapons I have never even messed around with, especially, you know, the hunting horn. And um, I never got that much better with, um, you know, with the uh, the dual blades. You know, I always shied away from the dual blades in, uh, in previous games. I was always just, you know, the slow, heavy bladed weapons that just does massive amounts of damage. <laughs> And so I'm always thinking about the game, I always want to try something new, and, you know, other games have come come around, but, um, Monster Hunter has always been one of my go-to ones, you know? It always has a good feeling where, you know, let's go ahead and farm some, farm some parts, or I saw something else on YouTube, or a, a, a different kind of build, and I think one of the ones I'm probably going to try and mess around with is the, uh, uh, probably just more of a helper build. Uh, sword and shield so I can do a wide range and maybe a mushroom mancer. You know, I've always been very selfish when I'm hunting. I bring maybe uh, the powders that help heal others, but mostly I'm just using potions just to heal myself. So I want to try and make more of a kind of a helper babysitter type of build. And so maybe if I can get some friends to hunt. And I do have some friends um, that have been hunting with me. Um, in the past, and it was always an awesome experience. So I want to kind of bring that in, just offer more, more assistance as much as I can. I'll probably try and build that uh, sword and shield um, armor set. I think I have right parts. I just gotta actually make it and make sure I bring all the right items with me, and uh, probably do some some helpful SOS hunts all the while. Oh. Oh yeah, and I forgot. Also, uh, I uh, <laughs> have been doing multiplayer. Is uh, I currently do not have a uh, PlayStation Plus <laughs> subscription. Um, more for just financial reasons, you know. Also, while I'm still doing all these reviews for uh, for the regular return policy episodes, um, the subscription money is going towards there. <laughs> so once in a while, if I can trade in a few games on Amazon, I can get some uh, PlayStation credit. And uh, ten bucks later, I got a month. Of Monster Hunter, <laughs> but for the past couple weeks, or at least past um, last month or so, uh, um, I just primarily just doing solo hunts and haven't been able to go online. But once I do build the uh, the kind of the helper build for heals, um, attack ups, and defense ups, um, so I can help my fellow hunters, I'll probably um, dip in and grab another ten dollar one month um, subscription <laughs> to PlayStation Plus. And um, kind of do the uh, the Good Samaritan thing and try and uh, um, respond to some SOSs. And instead of trying to be uh, any kind of hotshot or contributing <laughs> to the deaths during the hunt, I'm going to do my best to try and help out as much as I can and keep everybody alive. So that's kind of cool. I mean, you can always find new things to do with Monster Hunter, you know? And um, I kind of treat it like a fighting game. Well, heck, it's made by Capcom, so they already have that pedigree. And so people say, well, I just use, you know, I just use a lance for two of the last 2,000 hunts, and I'm bored with the game, you know? Um, I may have seen that on, uh, on Reddit. But uh, it's like picking, you know, Blanca or, you know, Chun-Li on a Street Fighter and sticking with that one character forever, you know, without really experimenting. Hey, maybe Ryu or Ken's good. Why not mess around with some good, um, you know, guile strategies? So I treat these weapons as pretty much different um, characters, you know, different fighters in a fighting game, you know? And so you can definitely, uh, um, let's see, you can definitely, you know, um, you know, try something new, mess around. And it's always, from my experience, a different type of uh, experience trying out a new weapon, you know? 
your whole mentality changes just like you would a normal fighting game sometimes you'd be ranged and you'd run around here like a light bulb gun user sometimes you'd be a, uh, a lance user and you're more on the defense side more like the tank and it looks like i'm almost dead here i don't know do i make it oh. <laughs> i'm right in the heart of the storm <laughs> And that is two for two for me. <laughs> now I'm trying to remember. I mean, I did this footage a while back. Do I make it? <laughs> did I survive this hunt? Or am I just wasting uh, almost 25, 30 minutes of people's time watching me uh, get carded? <laughs> but what was I saying? You know, yeah, I, I treat... Each of the weapons, like uh, picking a brand new character in a fighting game. I'm a huge fan of fighting games, so uh, I treat each weapon as a brand new experience. You know, different combos to learn, different strategies to learn. So for folks that, um, while there's no problem dedicating themselves to just one single weapon and perfecting that weapon and all the builds and all the capabilities that it entails, um, it feels like it's missing out that Capcom put so much love and effort into all these different weapons. And they definitely want you to give it a try, you know. Um, you know how long have they been trying to get folks to mess around with the, the hunting horn? People thought, that's just like a, you know, just for helping and buffs and things like that. I want to do massive attacks and damage. And I'm definitely one of those folks that just um, avoided using the hunting horn. And um, there might just be a, an episode with that. But the last time I tried it, I could not for life I me mean, just train my brain to get the songs <laughs> correct for the for the hunting horn you know or at least decently contributing to the hunt while not just standing in the corner trying to play as many songs as i could <laughs> but um you know it's a new experience and it's fun playing uh with a different weapon on monster hunter you could min max completely and just do just the one build for hours and hours on end and you might get burned out a little bit sooner but, um, you know, they geared this game to, you know, have some longevity and having all these weapons and all these new features they've added since the last Monster Hunter. Um, I think it really does um, give it that much, um, you know, that much uh, time to understand, play as much as you can. If you got to take a break, for goodness sake, take a break. <laughs> Nobody's uh, forcing you to keep playing this game. Um, and it's not like uh you know those mobile games where they try to force you to come back and hit you with all these notifications or you know gotta buy the season pass the new map pack you know the beauty about the monster hunter games is that there's updates here and there and you can you know jump back whenever you feel like it to be honest that's why i like um diablo 3 you know and I kept coming back to the game, I would take like a long break, you know, until a new patch or even when the uh, Necromancer came out, I came back and played it. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot about using those <laughs> special <laughs> flares the whole hunt. I never used it until now. <laughs> Maximize damage. And so, uh, yeah, you can take a break from the game, you know, and come back, it'll still be there. The great uh, combat, the game mechanics, Everything you've done to, to build all your armor, it'll still be there, so you don't have to uh, force yourself to keep playing the game just for the sake of keep playing the game, you know. At least that's how I, that's how I personally see it. <laughs> but uh, a lot of games, they try to kind of almost guilt you to keep coming back, you know, to keep especially mobile games, you know. I mean, that's the business model. But a game like Monster Hunter, um, it always welcome you back. That muscle memory still retains, so. How many times I fought a, a Rathian or a Rathalos back then? So, hey, I did get this one. <laughs> Poor guy, I was just trying to go drowning in that water. Took a cheap shot. But hey, he was uh, messing me up <laughs> with those windstorms. So, just trying to get as much damage as I could. Anyways, that's it for me. I just wanted to do this episode of It's Okay to Fail. Episode 6? 5? 6? Oh, well, <laughs> thanks again for watching and listening to me ramble, and I'll see you next time. Bye.